This year, thanks to you, Blue One Rescue celebrates its 100th adoption and six years of helping homeless dogs and a cat. Whether they're sick, injured, abused, or simply unwanted, we do our very best to provide the needed care and find each sweet dog its own forever home. We're a small, all-volunteer, nonprofit dog rescue located in the Ottawa area. Blue Moon has been helping dogs in the Ottawa area for years now. And as Lorraine said, it's all volunteer support. Let's meet some of those volunteers now. Well, we heard about Blue Moon, and I had a friend who had started to become a rescue herself. And that sounded like something I would be interested in. It was always something that had intrigued me. I just didn't feel maybe qualified to do it. Um, but really, the qualification, I think, is, is that you truly care for and, and love the dogs and have their best interests at heart. They all have a different background when they come in, so you really, what's enjoyable is getting to know the dogs and, and getting to know what it takes to help them become happy and comfortable. And it may take some dogs more time to get settled than others, because some come from a very uncomfortable background. Most of our dogs come from shelters and pounds where they were going to be put down to make room for new dogs. Some were picked up as strays. Some, like our little grandma Bluebell here, came from puppy mills where they had been used as breeding machines. But most of the dogs we get are simply family pets who were discarded when they weren't wanted anymore. And sometimes, sadly, that neglect comes at a price. Some of the dogs we get need more care than others. Some have medical conditions that have been long neglected, while others were injured but never received treatment for their injuries. In those cases, we depend on the public and fundraising to be able to get the dogs the treatments or surgeries they need. There are several of these cases at Blue Moon right now. There are multiple dogs requiring surgery, including Daisy, who needs two front teeth removed that were not successfully taken out from a previous dental operation. However, the priority for Blue Moon right now is Lizzie. She's a sweet, affectionate dog. I sit right here on the couch and I read my book and she cuddles up to me on my hip and she like paws at me for attention. You can just pet her all day long. She loves being petted. And she licks my book and she licks my eyes and she's just, she's just all over you all the time. She's a very, really sweet dog. Um, but she's missing a hip joint in her right back hip. So Lizzie is happy and has a fairly good quality of life. The damage to her hip joint is pretty bad and it increases as time goes by. She really needs to be booked for surgery as soon as possible. She started limping, so then they took x-rays and it shows that she's missing a back hip joint and there's scar tissue as well that'll have to be removed. The surgery that she needs costs between $1,800 and $2,500. I'm helping with the fundraising, but um, you know, my friends and I, we've donated a bit, but we can't pay for you know, $2,500 surgery. We hope the public will help Lizzie regain her full mobility and help us at Blue Moon fulfill our promise to her to give her everything she needs for a happy and very long life. She's a great, great little dog and she deserves a second chance. And every dog with Blue Moon will get a second chance, but it all starts with those kind enough to foster. We'll rescue any kind of dog for which we have a spot. We don't have a shelter. We depend completely on volunteer foster homes to care for the dogs until they are adopted. You know, there's really, I don't see a negative side to it at all. One of the things that really interested me, not only in terms of helping the dogs themselves, but also for us as a family, something that we gain out of fostering is, of course, every dog that comes in is fun to be with, and the companionship and, and just the enjoyment of having them uh, join us in our family. But we, we also think that at some point we will also be adopting again, and uh, what a great way to take a dog for a test drive. But long before this process can even begin, Blue Moon is already working hard for the dogs and their new prospective families. Each dog we take into our program receives any needed medical care and is vaccinated and spayed or neutered before being adopted. We also get to know them intimately so that we can best determine what kind of home they need. 
We carefully screen adopters so that we can find the best match for each individual dog. We also help people uh, choose the right dog for their lifestyle and a lot of our work these past few years has been with families who have younger children and want information and advice on bite prevention. So as you can see, Blue Moon is quite busy out there making the world a better place for homeless dogs and bringing them into warm, loving homes. However, they are in need of your support. Being a small organization, they are based solely off your donations and generosity. They are always looking for people to help out, volunteer, adopt, or foster. If you can help Lizzie, or for more information on adopting, fostering, events, or other ways in which you can support our efforts in the community, please visit our Facebook page or our Petfinder web page.